All right, found a cool new app for your iPhone that will control your Slim devices. Uh, first thing you have to do is you have to go on to slimdevices.com and download the newest version of their software, which they've changed the name to Squeeze Center. Uh, it's kind of tricky to find. You have to go into the beta versions to get it. It's not in the standard download yet. But if you go dig through their download page, you'll find the beta versions, and it's in there. You need 7.0 is the one you're looking for. Okay, once you got that up and running, once you install it, it's very simple, just like the original version of uh, Slim Server, but they changed it. Uh, looks a lot more like iTunes right now. Uh, pretty simple to navigate. Uh, you can genres, artists, it's a lot cleaner than the old version was. And it works just as well as the other version did, if not probably a little bit better. I haven't had any problems or glitches yet, so hit play. Got a squeeze box over here. Works perfectly so far, I haven't had any problems. Okay, now for the cool thing. Once you've got that up and running, then you're going to want to go ahead and go download. You're going to have to go to penguinlovesmusic.de. This program is very simple. All you have to do Let's pause this real quick. Okay, you're going to download the program, uncompress the folder, copy and paste the folder into your squeezecenter.html directory. All the directions are on there when you download. It's very simple. Once you do that, now your iPhone will actually control Squeeze Center and your squeeze box or transporter. So here we go, check it out. Right now I've got it plugged in because the battery died. I was playing with it quite a bit last night, so we'll unplug it first. Okay. All right, what you have to do, the, the one tricky part, it took me a little while to figure it out, is you have to get, uh, once you get your you have to get the URL correct at the top for it to recognize Slim Server. Or I'm sorry, the Squeeze Center now. And the way I figured it out was I went on to the Squeeze Box itself, pulled up the information that it was pulling up for the network, and punched in the same information on the iPhone, and it seemed to work pretty well. Okay, so once you got it up and running, now you can browse through your music just like you would on your regular iPhone MP3s or whatever you've downloaded to it. Um, and this thing is basically looking at the directory that Squeeze Center is using to transfer the music wirelessly. So this is wireless right now through my Wi-Fi system controlling the Squeeze Box which is pulling the music off a hard drive on a wireless laptop. So three wireless devices all working together right now. And let's go to... Go to oops, wrong button. Go back. The interface is a little bit slow, not bad, but it's a little slow because everything's wireless through the network in the house. Um, but for what it is, it works extremely well. And it's just like working in iTunes. So I just pushed it, now it should start playing. So you can check that out. And again, hit pause on the iPhone, and it pauses. Push play, starts playing again. Pretty good little system. It actually works quite well. I was surprised. Click over here, hit pause, music stops, hit play, starts right up again. If you want to go back while it's playing, you can go browse back, find another song. Let's see, over here, which is pretty cool, he's got it so that you can actually just click on the letter of who you're looking for. So I click on D. I'm gonna go back to Dave Matthews real quick while it's playing. Okay. You can see the interface is a little bit slower than you would expect for the iPhone or but it's not bad at all. 
Dave Matthews. Some devil. Click on some devil. There you go. That's all it takes. Now switch back over. Now you can set up your favorites. I haven't done any of that yet. I'll pause this. It's also got the cover flow view, which is kind of cool. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the uh, artwork for this on here yet, but just like in your regular iPhone or iPod Touch, it's got the same graphic interface basically. It's done quite a, quite a good job on this. So there you go, cool new toy to play with.